Hey guys, it's your girl Madison Sky Makeup with another YouTube tutorial. So today we're going to start off by priming the face with my favorite, my Tatcha Primer. Why do I look like I'm rubbing so hard? Now I'm using the NARS Radiant Foundation. I'm going to apply that all over the skin and I am buffing in with my favorite Real Techniques buffing brush. Making sure I cover every stitch of skin there is so it will be a beautiful even canvas. Now I'm going in with my Tarte Shape Tape in the color Deep and the NARS Radiant Creamy Foundation in the color Walnut. And I am placing that under the eyes and the forehead and down the bridge of my nose. Mm. I'm going to blend it out with uh, my beauty blender and make sure that I don't take it too much past where I laid it down. It blends out so beautifully and those two colors mixed together, <laughs> match made in heaven. Dab it on my chin to create that oval face. Yeet, yeet, yeah. <laughs> now I'm blending it out on my forehead. Now I'm using the Black Opal Foundation Stick in the color Black Walnut to contour. And I'm taking down the bridge of my nose a bit. And I'm I'm going to buff it out again with my Real Techniques foundation brush. We can't leave the nose out, so we are definitely going to blend that color out. And I'm using a smaller stippling brush to do that. Now I'm setting under the eye with my MAC Studio Fix powder. I'm setting everywhere that I use the, the concealer. And I forgot to conceal up under my brow, so I'm going back and doing that with the um, walnut color. Creamy concealer from NARS and buffing that out with a smaller Real Techniques brush. You gotta brush those brows up so you can get the true definition out of the eyes. And I am going to lay a good strong brow down using um, my e.l.f. gel, eyeliner gel in the color brown. Everybody's out there using their Anastasia and spending that good coin for that. But you can also obtain a very beat brow from a good e.l.f. eyeliner gel. And that's what I'm using for the three bucks. Don't spend all your coins if you don't have to. If you need to make a quick run, go on the road, run to that Target or at a Walmart and pick you up a e.l.f. brow line. Brows make you concentrate. I mean, you really can't even, you know, you can't think about life when you're thinking about these brows that's going to be placed on your face for today because they got to match. This is serious. This is serious. Shh. Silence. Blend those things out and clean up on aisle two. Next, I am setting that face with my Iman Press Powder in the color Earth Deep. Trying to bring all those beautiful colors together as one. Now I'm going in with my Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette. And setting everywhere that I use that Black Opal Foundation Stick to Contour. That is going to be my MAC Paint Pot in the color Soft Ochre that I am blending onto my lids using my ColourPop Blending Tool. And I'm going in with my favorite eyeshadow palette, the Morphe Dare to Create palette. 
and I'm going to create a soft look here. I'm using that soft brown color and placing it in the sockets of my eye as a transition color and blending that baby on out. Next, I'm going in with that brown to kind of deepen the crease. Not too much, because I'm not doing too much. You know, soft looks are my favorite. But I am going to blend for days. Next, I'm going in with one of these soft neutral tone colors from the palette and just placing that on the mobile lid of my eye just to bring a little neutral color to the eye. And then I have to use my Inglot number 77 gel liner to line the eyes and I'm trying to stay as close to the eyelash base as possible I'm not looking to do a strong wing today and I'm bringing that gel to the lower lash line as well Next, I'm going in with my Lancome Big is the New Black Mascara and getting those babies ready for my lashes. Boom, and there they go. And again, she is setting the face again because she does not want to be oily. Now I'm going in with one of my favorite highlights. It's the ColourPop. And this is my highlighter from her collection. And I'm dabbing on the nose for a slight glow. Next, I'm using the Sahara palette for my blush. I love those two colors together. They can be interchangeably used as a contour as well. Blush can be used as contour, people. You don't always have to use a contour palette for it to bring in those cheekbones. Now I'm using probably all of the blues from that Masquerade palette. And I am setting that under the lower lash line for a pop of color. Just a little pop of color. Not too much. I'm smoking it out with a small angle brush. And then I am going to set the bottom lashes with a bit of mascara again. Now I'm going in with my all nighter spray. I spray it onto my beauty blender sponge and I press it into the face because I like the way that it absorbs back into the skin. Maybe if she straightened her hair out one more time. So now I'm going in with my favorite MAC Chestnut Liner and lining those lips up. And people, don't forget your Cupid's bowl. Don't run over that. Stop and then start again. Make sure you, de you know, definitely highlight that Cupid's bowl. And I'm going in with my ColourPop Makeup Shayla Ooh Lipstick and blending that in. And so guys, this is the look. I apologize. I didn't get to come back with a final look with the pins out of my head but that's what you get come back and join me next time